Welcome back to the video. Let's talk about Amazon stock because right now there's a lot of really big news about it, so you can't miss out and definitely stay tuned till the very end. Before we get started, definitely check out the Discord server. There's more than 10,000 people in it. It's completely free. One of the biggest stock option discords on the Discord server, and it's also one of the most active ones. So it's not like a dead server. And definitely check out the Webull sign-up link. Click on it, deposit $100 after you make a brokerage account and get two free stocks. It's literally free money. Let's talk about Amazon stock so far. Five years, absolutely amazing. I mean, it's up $3,000. Started off at 500 bucks, now it's 3,500 bucks. Market cap is $1.77 trillion. Jeff Bezos' net worth just exceeded 200 billion bucks. And so far, Amazon stock, it's doing pretty well today, especially the majority of the tech sector is pretty red. Apple today is honestly super red at negative 2.4%, but surprise, Amazon is actually doing pretty decent. And right now, Amazon just won FAA approval for Prime Air drone delivery. Now, this is pretty insane, and Amazon has been working on drones and also with the government about drone delivery for years and years. Like, this isn't something to laugh at. I mean, drone delivery is the future, in my opinion, but there are a lot of really scary things. For example, what if the drone falls from the sky and hits something or someone? What if the packages fall, which is one of the biggest concerns since maybe some things here and there might actually have the package like loose and it might drop obviously if it's a pretty heavy item like a computer it could definitely do a lot of damage and lawsuits will definitely come in if things like this happen way too often literally amazon if they actually do drone delivery in suburban areas and also light metropolitan areas they cannot have anything to mess up they cannot have any mess ups keep in mind that one cool thing about drone deliveries is instead of waiting two days or a day for item to deliver it only takes about 30 minutes and since you got so many malls literally shutting down amazon is swooping in getting those malls and turning them into amazon warehouses you may be wondering how do i get my prime items in two days well it's because they store these items in these giant prime amazon warehouses so let's say you want to get like a brand new amd chip and it's prime delivery it takes less than two days it's already in the warehouse and the warehouse is usually located in areas where there's a lot of other surrounding cities and this is why you get your packages in two days this is why prime is so awesome this is why if you try to order things from drop shipping you try to order things from other places it takes three to five days sometimes a week whereas amazon it's only two days the logistics is really good and jeff bezos even said like the reason why amazon is one of the best e-commerce sites out there to shop on is because of low prices large selections and exceptionally and extremely fast delivery like nowhere else can you get delivery ranging from one to two days also if you talk about the overall drones amazon began testing these drones in 2013 so it's seven years in the making so it's pretty much going to be pack picking up packages from the amazon warehouses and delivering it to your front door in less than 30 minutes in 2019 the company filed a pension for ffa approval of these plans now, Amazon, of course, they know it's impossible to get the government saying yes to do drone deliveries in New York City, Seattle, and Miami, like where the skyscrapers are. I mean, they're saying that they just want deliveries occurring in areas with very low populations and also packages that weigh less than five pounds. And with packages weighing less than five pounds, if you want to ship it using a car, it's really not worth the money. So it's going to be regular day items like maybe smartphones, smartphone cases, maybe watches, some clothes, small accessories will be eligible for drone delivery. And you clearly see they just got approved. It's honestly pretty awesome. I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Now, keep in mind that Amazon may also be having some sort of a stock split. Pretty much a lot of people are going pretty crazy about Amazon and saying that it's probably like the stock that's going to be having a stock split. People are really, really looking forward to Amazon. They think it's a really good company. And with Apple and Tesla doing stock splits and their stocks literally going to the moon and going up like 50% in less than two weeks, you kind of get the idea. Jeff Bezos loves money. So doing a stock split is honestly a pretty good deal, especially not only can the Amazon options just simply be way cheaper, but with more action in the options market, you got more people buying the overall shares and just simply it's way better. If Amazon could do like a seven for one stock split, that would be pretty incredible, meaning that each share of Amazon will only be worth about 500, 600 bucks, which is really accessible. A lot of people in America really want to invest in Amazon, either in options or stock, especially stock. They can't really do it. The regular retail traders can't buy Amazon, therefore the super low volume right here of 4.56 million. That's super low for an average volume. So if they could actually do a stock split and each share is worth about 500, 600 bucks, a lot of regular retail traders might be able to buy one or two shares. Keep in mind that Robinhood portfolios, 
a lot of them are worth about two to three thousand dollars which isn't even the price of one amazon stock so if you lower the pricing for amazon stock by doing a stock split your shares will definitely go up because if you look at trex if you look at apple if you look at you know tesla stock splits really do drive the price up on top of that, you have Amazon opening its first online only Whole Foods stores in Brooklyn, New York. The reason why this is a big deal is because if you open a whole entire Whole Foods store, it costs too much money, too much time, and it's really hard to do, especially you guys seek out the location, etc. Now, this is a fully online Whole Foods store. It's honestly pretty crazy. Now, this store will be used to fulfill online grocery orders to customers in the Brooklyn area. This is pretty awesome, especially how Amazon straight up said that online grocery shelves sell tripled year over year in the second quarter it's pretty insane and with this online whole food store it really shows you even grocery stores can slowly move online and pretty much amazon is doing this it's pretty revolutionary if it makes a lot of money they will open more of these in other smaller cities my big gripe with amazon whole foods it's it's usually in very rare locations usually high-end neighborhoods i would like to see amazon opening these online whole foods which are cheaper to open in other communities maybe like you know a couple in my city here and there maybe a couple in smaller towns and cities which don't have a lot of population i want to see them go toe-to-toe -to -toe with walmart because whole foods is way more high-end than walmart and i want to see amazon go against the big retail giant now keep in mind that the reason why amazon even announced this online only whole food store is because walmart is threatening its territory so walmart since they have so many super centers in virtually every single neighborhood in the u.s like seriously if you look at your door right now you probably see a walmart within like two miles of driving it's honestly pretty insane and so far walmart plus came out with a 98 dollars yearly membership fee meaning you could get goods from walmart like food electronics paper towels etc delivered to your home for free in less than a couple hours or same day delivery because there's a, literally a Walmart two hours from your house. It's honestly pretty accessible. And with this Walmart Plus coming out, I'm actually slowly inching forward to Walmart more because they could deliver more than just food items to my doorsteps in less than a day. It's way better than Amazon's two day delivery. So it is pretty awesome. And it's kind of like this really crazy life hack. And so far, Amazon is a little bit freaked out about this because it will cut away at their sales. But Amazon, of course, isn't really too scared about it since Walmart doesn't have all the accessories. Keep in mind that the only way for you guys to get in, you know, same day delivery is if Walmart has the items that you're looking for in their stores. If they don't, then you're going to have to wait several days. So Amazon isn't really too worried about that. But the grocery section is very scary because they're making a lot of money from grocery sales. And since Walmart is turning to more of a tech grocery store, Amazon is launching the first online only Whole Foods to counteract that. On top of that, Amazon is really serious about the logistics services. He, they're even backing Rivian, which is an electric car company. And so far, they're ordering 100,000 electric vehicles from Rivian, and they also own a huge percentage of Rivian. So it's pretty smart. Not only are they getting vehicles and paying their own company that they're investing in, but we may be seeing Rivian going public and they do and they actually go to all-time highs and go up like Tesla. Amazon stock is going to go up even further. So things are looking very interesting to Amazon. Let's see what's going to happen. But I really do feel like a stock split for Amazon, Google could be right around the corner. And Ever since Apple and Tesla stock splits, people start noticing stock splits generate a lot of money and renew interest in the stock. No one is really talking about Amazon because there's nothing super crazy about it. But with stock split and drone delivery, stock might actually go up. Thanks for watching.